Aldo Ghana has seen some level of progress in the fight against COVID-19 in recent times. Compared to 2020, it is far from over. The economic implication from the pandemic has and continues to hit hard on several people, especially persons living with disability. Ibrahim Abubakar tells a story of a 35-year-old single mother whose both hands have been amputated about the impact of the pandemic on her business. Millicent Trewa, whose both hands have been amputated, is struggling to recover from the economic loss she suffered during the pandemic. Before losing both hands in 2016, the single mother was earning a modest income from the trading of salt at the race course market in the Ashanti regional capital, Kumasi. Life became difficult for her after the incident but she resolved not to join the unending queue of persons with disabilities on the streets of cities in Ghana whose daily survival depend on arms they receive from passers-by. The daring mother of one defied the odds to commence a trade in plastic bowls in her house with the support of a 13-year-old daughter. However, the coronavirus lockdown led to the collapse of her venture. She lost her capital and has since not been able to recover. Her daughter, Beatrice Nyako, now has to sell water whenever she returns from school to cater for them. Beatrice also has the Herculean tax of bathing and feeding her mother, whose strength appeared to be failing by the tick of the clock. This is having an adverse impact on the education of the teenager. And I'm saying I lay a bind, me and I'm here with your very jarro, obedi deal, me and I'm here with your jamma school, Sam Ayabasa, because school, a bat and San Marco Tonium, a basa crana muscum cramming to me, see, and ye, and I'm a major new fiend. Yes, I'm my dream, Jenny Bibri, I am my giant Bibri, and I'm for four million muco school, no moon now or SS two, and so, and I'm my problem, a bind, a same way, JHS two. Millicent hopes to get prosthetic hands to enable her work and live an independent life. Dear here, my pay artificial. You say some young couple now must some many artificial hands now. The banning you hold crown and meet me there in your market and cut yourself as a beer, me pensionum, and I say me pay your near dear. In artificial hands now, me free sir Bebuami, and mammy banon so, let him hear ye and your man crank a crack. Millicent will need financial assistance to raise an amount of 40,000 Ghana cities for the prosthetic hands. In Ghana, females make up the majority of the vulnerable self-employed, most of who are low-income earners with no or small savings. Knowing that said group of people were at high risk of being left destitute without targeted assistance during and after the coronavirus lockdown, government rolled out measures to support the poor and vulnerable as well as businesses. The National Board for Small Scale Industries under the Coronavirus Alleviation Program Business Support Scheme. But Millicent said she was unaware of such intervention. Data from NBSSI revealed that 61,437 people in the Ashanti region benefited from the Coronavirus Alleviation Program Business Support Scheme. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3, Kumasi. And if you have been touched by the story that was just reported by my colleague Ibrahim Abubakar in the Ashanti region and want to help Millicent, please do that. You can bring your donations right here to TV3. The amount she needs is 40,000 CDs. And as she said, once she gets her hands, she'll be able to take care of her family. So please do bring your donations here and let's help her make this dream of hers a reality.